हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन लर्निंग ऑफ दिल्ली पब्लिक स्कूल सूरत टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट एन इम्पॉर्टेंट डिस्कवरी इन मेडिकल हिस्ट्री और रेदर आई वुड से एन एक्सीडेंटल डिस्कवरी इन द मेडिकल हिस्ट्री दैट इज एंटीबायोटिक्स सो लेट अस गो अहेड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द क्वेश्चन दैट अराइजेस इज वॉट आर एंटीबायोटिक्स to understand this let us split the word antibiotics itself if we split the word antibiotics anti stands for against and bio stands for life so antibiotics are the substances or the medicines which are against life actually antibiotics are the medicines which are used to fight the bacterial infections by killing the bacteria and curing the disease now let us define antibiotics in a better way proper definition of antibiotics states that they are the medicines which are taken to either stop the growth of or kill the disease causing microorganisms antibiotics can be broadly divided into two categories one of the category is bacteriostatic antibiotics which stop the growth of bacteria suppose you have got infected by bacteria so in this particular situation when you take bacteriostatic antibiotics then it will stop the growth of this bacteria and it will not allow it to reproduce so the bacteria will not be able to spread the infection further in your body the very little number of bacteria which are present in the body will die after a particular duration of time and our immune system will help in getting rid of this bacteria and thus curing the infection another category of antibiotics is that of bactericidal antibiotics which kills the bacteria this this antibiotic target the cell wall of the bacteria and thus killing the bacteria now which category of antibiotic should be taken depends upon the type of disease and the severity of the disease now let us talk about the discovery of antibiotics the discovery of antibiotics is a very interesting story it was discovered by a scientist named alexander fleming in year 1929 he named this antibiotic penicillin as it was obtained from a fungus called penicillium antibiotics are not just obtained from fungus they can also be derived from bacteria or nowadays they are even made synthetically in the industries now let us talk about the interesting story of discovery of penicillin alexander fleming was doing research to find a cure that can find infectious diseases for doing so he was cultivating many species of bacteria in petri dishes one day he went for a long vacation when he came back he saw that one of the petri dish was contaminated by a fungus called penicillium before throwing out the contaminated petri dish fleming observed it carefully on observing it carefully fleming found that penicillium was killing most of the bacterial population growing in this petri dish wherever the penicillium was growing in its surrounding there was no sign of any bacteria growing he concluded that penicillium was secreting certain chemicals which was not allowing the bacteria to grow as a defense mechanism he named this chemical as penicillin later on it was found that penicillin was non toxic to animals as well as humans so it can be used for curing the bacterial infections in animals and humans thus penicillin became the first antibiotic to be discovered this antibiotic saved many lives during world war 2 the image over here shows bacteria growing in the petri dish on one side penicillium has contaminated the petri dish if you look in the surrounding of this penicillium it has secreted certain chemicals and these chemicals are not allowing the growth of the bacteria these chemicals are nothing but the antibiotic some other common antibiotics are erythromycin streptomycin and tetracycline 
Now, let us talk about the precautions to be taken while using antibiotics. First of all, antibiotics should not be taken without the advice of doctor. If we take antibiotics unnecessarily, it will have side effects on our body. So, indiscriminate use of antibiotics should be avoided. It should be taken only on the advice of a qualified doctor. Next, whenever doctor prescribes antibiotics, then the full course of antibiotics should always be completed. The reason behind this is, if we don't complete the full course, then the remaining bacteria will again relapse and cause more severe form of infection. Usually, the tendency is whenever we fall sick, we go to the doctor. Doctor will prescribe medicines. We take medicines and we start feeling better. Once we start feeling better, we stop taking the medicines. But that should never be done in case of antibiotics. Because if we don't complete the full course, then few number of bacteria will still be left behind in our body. This few bacteria can grow, multiply, increase their population and again spread the infection and thus we can have a relapse of infection which can be more severe this time. So always complete the full course of antibiotics. Next. Don't take antibiotics when not needed or in wrong doses. Otherwise, it may make the drug less effective when you might need it in future. Taking antibiotics too often or for wrong reasons can change the bacteria so much that antibiotics don't work against them. This is called antibiotics resistance. Some bacteria are now resistant even to the most powerful antibiotics which are available. So even high dose of most powerful antibiotics will not save us in future if we use them indiscriminately. Next, antibiotics taken unnecessarily may kill the beneficial bacteria in the body. Antibiotics are just the chemicals. They cannot differentiate between the good bacteria and the bad bacteria. There are some beneficial bacteria which are present in our body which helps us in digestion, synthesis of vitamins, etc. But if we take antibiotics unnecessarily, it will kill these good bacteria also and make our immune system weak. So don't take antibiotics unnecessarily. Last but not the least. Don't take antibiotics in case of viral infections as antibiotics are not effective against viruses. Viruses incorporate themselves into our own body cells in order to multiply and antibiotics do not attack our own body cells. So antibiotics will not be able to stop the growth or kill the viruses. So, Never take antibiotics in case of viral infections. Always handle antibiotics with care so that we will be able to use it effectively even in our future. Thank you. Have a nice day.